on five items you should not buy from Panda Buy. Let's get right into it. The first thing you want to buy is anything that has battery. This had like uh, mini batteries in them that came. This was like a Bentley keychain I got. Um, it was really nice. I tried to find like a shipping line for it, but there was no shipping line for it, so I had to return it. There are some items that have battery that you can't return. Um, so please do look out if the, anything has a battery and you can't return it, don't don't like try to buy it. So anything that has a battery, don't buy it. We got underwears and all the woman items, the undergarments, you shouldn't buy them. You, This person bought like a Supreme underwear haul and you go down and you see the comments and he says, this is the first comment you see, you're balking of cancer and stuff like that and everything. This is like a... Uh, even when you get the QCs, they're just like putting like the underwears, everything on like wherever they put like all the, the materials there. So I don't know if you want to wear that after even like when you get the package, there's like a certain smell to the package because it's coming overseas and they, it's not like you're getting insured by them. Like these are made by like rep factories. These aren't made by like factories that are like, you know, certified have like have like th all those like extra like insurance with them that that the garments would be like completely clean like there are some jackets that like sometimes even like show signs of like browning when they come and that's like because of uh um the jacket it like the wool on it is not clean properly so i would say please do under uh, uh, please do avoid buying underwears from panda buy um even if they're supreme anything do avoid that the next item might actually surprise you but i would say avoid buying shorts from panda buy especially if you like shorts that are long let's say uh a lot of i got like six seven shorts from uh, panda buy all of them were like short in length if you have a long thighs i would say avoid buying shorts if you don't like the short shorts like they're like above your knees not even above your knees but probably an inch or two above your knees i don't know why they make uh, all of them like that but if you do like long shorts please get them from like your local uh walmart anywhere uh avoid buying sh shorts if you like long shorts if you like the short shorts then yeah there's a bunch of all different designs everything and the quality is really amazing on these shorts that especially the essential shorts they're gonna be linked in my spreadsheet you just search it up control f next item is i think i don't think you should get this from panda buy first of all it also has a battery in it so it's even hard to ship watches uh there are there is one shipping line that always supports it but i do forget the shipping line uh, but you do have to pay like the extra 60 dollars just to ship this and i don't think it's worth it i think if you're going for something like a rolex or anything you want to go with something that has like similar quality you could go for these cheap watches that you see on panda buy always pop up uh you see all the qcs on it i actually like seen like a person uh on reddit get this and he was getting flamed in the comments uh, it doesn't even uh look similar and it's like easy to tell so like a lot of times sneakers you can't really tell sneakers that's how you know how good the sneakers have gone for the price point but you see this they're like 50 dollars, 60 dollars for a rolex they are cutting a lot of corners and if you want something that's uh like not like like one to one but like you know the quality is there it's gonna last you a long time and you you have you have to be willing to pay like 200 to like 400 to get like a good one and there is like a reddit dedicated to watches if you're into that it's called rep time i'll leave it on the screen and everything so i would say avoid buying like Rolex is from Panda Buy. There's like uh, actual sellers who I think uh, they have their own websites, like just like Kiku, and yeah, they they like specialize in this, not these types of sellers. The next item might actually surprise you, but I'm gonna say don't buy the Jordan 12s or buy any of the sneakers that have bad batches. Um, there are a bunch of batches that you should you should avoid because their shape isn't correct but the shape isn't correct the quality of materials is a bit lower too 
and you actually find this out like this is like over time you like see a bunch of sneakers that you like and there's like four five six different batches and then there's like random uh sellers trying to make their own batches like kiku which i would say are, are like a to s tier and then there's like other sellers who are cutting color corners and usually on dhk those are the ones that you want to avoid some of them i might even be on panda buy like those similar types of uh sneakers so you obviously want to see the qc's like you look at these jordan 12s this lows right here like you see this like the tongue is messed up it looks like uh doesn't look right but i've seen this problem with a lot of jordan 12s is the back it's a dead giveaway this texas aim is straight you zoom in the texas aim is straight the it's not even like going in the right direction you see the lines the lines aren't proper and then you zoom into the 23 what's going on on this right pair this is a problem i've seen with a lot of jordan 12s like they can't get this somehow right the two three both of these are different if you look to if you look closely really different so that bothers me you see glue stains but you see glue stains in the, on the real jordan 12 too but i haven't seen one 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 jordan 12 ever and i don't think uh, uh they really like sell these a lot so they're probably not right now on top of them like creating proper ba batches love jordan 12s probably sit around for like months on end or years so these are probably the same batches they've been selling for a couple of years now and this batch has been jordan 12s in general i wouldn't buy now another like a uh, way uh, i could show you that is you see this batch tg uh, i've seen some people make the comparison that you see how this black cat is you see the rounded edge at the end like that's hard to do for like the sellers that have lower price so they don't round it like properly as much and like mold the sneaker properly so the best batch for this i would say is ljr and gx gx isn't even here but you have to like do your research on what's the best batch you could just search up on reddit uh just write in jordan 4 and when it comes up you see all the qcs and you go into the comments and see what the comments are saying if most of the comments are agreeing that this is a good pair all everything shows up right then uh, go ahead buy it there's like a lot of components to a sneaker it's usually like uh the look of it um all the materials everything it's like a the dimensions too matter a lot so there's a lot of jordan fours that let's say you get a jordan 4 that's size 9 you grab that jordan 4 and you're like wearing it this happened to me uh that jordan 4 might actually be like it's size 9 but it like the the sneaker is kind of smaller than the retail version like it's size 9 but they made it like a bit smaller than the retail version so the measurements they also matter a lot i i do see some people uh, uh it's more in like clothing where the matter measurements matter but they are like they do the insole uh insole measurements to sh see if the sizing is correct um but like some sneakers they do come like that there was like a jordan 4 batch for uh the red lightning these were lightnings and the batch was like the batch cost like 50 60 dollars but the batch was improper and just for 10 extra dollars the flaws would be fixed for for that batch that had like a bit of like sizing problems and everything so you do have to look for uh, look for that uh especially with the jordan 4 jordan 1 jordan 2 there's like so many different versions uh not jordan 2 but like jordan uh 5 i would say jordan 11 there's so many different versions you have to like look for the proper one like uh there was a sneaker i got the jordan 11 gamas and one of the versions it was selling for $25 it had like a logo the logo was in proper area it was like a, it was like a, a couple millimeters off where it's supposed to be and then the other batch that was like $80 everything was like great on it so batches do matter uh, if you see any batch sneaker that that's not like with there avoid it and I would say like if you could pay that extra then do it